Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Tile Man Mode series. Tilethy's back at it again after the last episode we completed the end game of free to play Dragon Slayer. Now we've got the ability to wear room plate bodies, green deed hide bodies or any dragon hide bodies and also dragon plate bodies as well. Not that we're probably ever going to get a bloody dragon plate body, but we can dream. We can dream. Uh, we also got ourselves up to 40 defense, which means we can equip room. As you can see, we've got some lovely room plate legs on. And um, yeah, we made uh, some motions in the oceans, a lot of gaming, and uh, I plan to continue that going forward this episode. So I've got a plan. Um, some people have suggested in the comments as well about this. Um, construction is going to be a vital thing for us as a UIM, utilising all of the storage capabilities that the player-owned house has to offer. And um, we're currently 44, which means we've got the magic wardrobe and we've got the um, fancy dress box, I think it's called. I'd like to expand upon that, and I think there is one very good way for us to stock up on planks, and that is Temporos. Not only is Temporos a, a great source of fishing XP and cooking XP as well, um, why cook but um, it's also a great way to get food money uh, jewelry and obviously planks and a little a little other thing as well is we have the possibility of picking up some room and armor which uh, could mean that we can get some cheeky little upgrades on the armor set without spending a dime which to me sounds pretty dreamy so the plan is we need to get over to Al Karid, which is over here uh, the boat to go over is here, so we're probably going to need maybe like a hundred and something tiles to get there from our current, um, where our current tiles lay, or lie I should say, uh, and that is going to take us to Temporos Cove. Um, or is it? Where, what is it? Uh, there's a bit that it goes, and there's a bit, another bit that it goes to. I think it's down, it's down here, isn't it? Uh, so we're going to have to get all the tiles unlocked here, and all the ferrying system, and all the bank and everything there. Uh, and then we're going to need to get the tiles for the actual mini game itself. So there's a lot of work that we need to put in to get the tiles for it. Let's go over to Alcarid, see if we can ferry over now, and uh, then we can assess how many tiles we actually need. Also, while Tarthy does a little cheeky teleport, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing. Drop a like, can we get the episode to 100 likes? Uh, you guys have been killing it with the support lately, and I really do appreciate it. And um, let's go with the today's comment of Tarthy the Fisherman. Put that in the comment section down below. If you don't want to comment that, how's your day going? Let me know. Wow, it really isn't that many tiles uh, to get over to the actual um, ferry boat thingy. Uh, I thought it would at least be like 80. It's only 30 or 40, I should say. Um, yeah, so our plan is um, we're going to assess how many tiles. Oh, fair enough. Tile. Oh, let's, let's do that one. He did a little fucky wucky. Um, yeah, so let's go over and assess how many um, tiles we're going to need. We'll go back and forth on the ferry as well, so we can um, uh, definitely, you know, cater for coming back and forth on that boat. Um, otherwise, that's unfair. So board ferry, we'll go back again. Does it drop us on the same tile? Pretty much. Um, right, so let's ferry over. Uh, we'll go... So we've still got... How many tiles have we got? 104 all right so going over to the actual rope ladder let's quickly go up the thing hopefully it doesn't throw us in again oh i saw that tile thing i saw that all right so that means we're on the boat yes i want to leave uh 30 seconds till the boat goes i i don't want to do it on a dead world <laughs> because doing it on my own is going to be fucking awful um so let's let's hop um and find a world that actually has people doing Temporos. There are Temporos given worlds, I think. I don't know how active they are. Probably not very. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll get in a game. Let's see if this one's all right. Hey, I see life. All right, let's climb aboard. Um, yeah, so we'll go into a game. See, you know, how the land lies and how many tiles we actually need. And, uh, yeah, see if we can uh, complete our first game of Temporos. Now, you see, the only problem with Temporos and doing it on a tile-restricted account um, is the fact that every other game you could be playing on the other side of the map, which means the bit that you've actually unlocked, uh, you ain't going to be able to do. So, <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, we're, we've got 30 tiles left, um, and that's pretty much unlocked most things here i guess um i mean we can get back and forth to the boat 
Um, it could get a bit funky when there's fires and that, but yeah, I think for the most part we're uh, we're all right. So um, yeah, well, I'll check back in when um, you know we've done something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> hey, I don't know what Master of Buckets is, but um, we've done it. <laughs> right, and there we go. There's another combat task for calming the storm. I think we fouled, by the way. Yeah, we fouled. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but for me, that wasn't really a proper game. That was just, you know, finding our feet and uh, getting started. But um, yeah, confident we can do Temporos. Um, I might have to bow if <laughs> we get on the wrong side. <laughs> this could be bad. <laughs> I've got a feeling, I was doing this with someone, other, someone else. Uh, I've got a feeling they've bailed because <laughs> we're fucked. Oh, we're gonna have to find a different world. Oh well, oh well. We're getting some decent XP though. We've uh, we've unlocked a few tiles, even just you know fucking up, um, which you love to see. He doesn't like being rewarded for fucking up. I I, I think we might actually have been doing these games. <laughs> um. Oh no no no! That one we we actually managed to do it. I think. The spirit angers before we back to the room. Because it's sound we subdued it, but it just ended. Which I'm guessing we, we won. <laughs> Did we do a gaming? I think we might have. But anyway, there's one KC at um, an old Temporos. And we've got four four uh, rewards that we can do. But um, yeah, we haven't got the tiles to get there yet. But we, one thing that is really, really good here is the um, construction XP. So um, we're getting very, very close to 45. If I do these, you can see. Those are the sort of XP rates we're getting, which it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Right, there we go. There is another game. KC number two. We set ourselves a new PB because, you know, we're absolutely gaming. Um, how many reward thingies do we get for that one? We've got eight permits. We've got four for that. New personal best, just sub of uh, um, seven minutes. Yeah. Oh, let's quickly get on this boat because there's four people. Oh, Tulfi, get on your tiles. Naughty. Um... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go and ride the boat again. Uh, might as well. There's still fucking people here. <laughs> it's been pretty dead otherwise. Right, and repairing this is going to be our first construction level at Temporos. There we go, 45 construction. Tile, you get back on those fucking tiles. Not too shabby. Right, see you later, Temporos. Um, what do we get? Three uh, three uh, permits for that one. But I think we've got enough tiles now that we can actually start cashing those in. So uh, let's get back over to the docks and uh, have a look. See. Um, let's turn the old tiles on. Okay, right. Let's click here. Oh, as if. <laughs> We're a little bit shy anyway. I'm going to clear that and put it... Let's put it there. Uh, realistically, I'm going to have to get next to the spirit angler uh, because he's got the net that we'll need. <laughs> but really, <laughs> like two tiles short, for fuck's sake. Oh, well. More Temporos for us. Okay, so we've managed to get enough tiles now to uh, speak to the old Spirit Angler. We can get our net and we can start to net in the reward pools. Right, let me put my pin in and let's see if we've won a prize. Okay, here we go. 27 raw tuna, some seaweed, some feathers, and some raw bass. More raw tuna, some spirit flakes. Put that on the collection log. Boy! And some swordfish. Fucking hell, how many have we got? Royal Lobster as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Um, now I've got got to play. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to keep those fucking feathers. And now we've got to play uh, <laughs> Inventory Tetris. <laughs> I'm probably going to drop a couple of these buckets. We don't need all of them. Um, yeah, gaming. See you later, alligator. There is a what three KC, four KC, four KC. We're becoming a right little PVM demon. Let's, uh, we've got three permits from that. Uh, let's, fuck it, we're going to turn them in straight away. No hanging about. Let's go see what we've won. Probably a load of raw fish. I'm going to stink out my inventory even more. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I also like that they removed the dialogue here. You haven't got to chat to him for like 20 seconds to get a fucking net. Um, raw tuna, lobster, more spirit flakes. Meh, I'll take it. Right, there's another, uh... Easy combat task for doing, I think it's 5kc at Temporos, which, uh, fair enough. <laughs> right, we're doing a little bit of agility, just to mix things up a bit. Um, there we go, there is 30 agility coming in, very nice indeed. We've also got a couple of marks of grace, 
Um, so we're slowly working towards our first set of graceful. Uh, I can't remember what 30 agility actually gives you. Uh, let's have a look. Agility pyramids, we've got a way to make money. And the Varrock Cooks as well. Eh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, yeah, Tempros is just a bit dead. So I might arrange some um, community games of that. So if you want to get involved in some community games, we all play Tempros together. Uh, come join the Discord and the clan chat and uh, we can get those set up. Right, there is our first um, solo Tempros kill. There's the Lone Angler. Ooh, ominous. Um, yeah, we got three uh, permits on that. So let's go and see if we uh, won a prize that isn't raw fish. Ooh, we got our first set of planks and soaked pages and a casket. What do we get? Red Medhelm! Fucking let's go! That's sick! Right, um... Let's use this on the, uh... <sighs> mate, that was some fucking good stuff. Let's use it on here. Um... Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm gonna drop the Addy Full Helm. Don't want that cluttering up the inventory. Drop that. Um... Let's drop the axe as well. We don't really need that at the moment. But 30 planks... How oh, good on then. Oh, that is a nice little pull. We got 16 oak plank. I went and bought my steel axe back because I accidentally teleported on the Chronicle and realised, shit, we need that for uh, the canoe systems. <laughs> uh, but I did drop my anti-dragon shield and uh, we're like, equipping the uh, Chronicle now. I would drop some of the armour stuff, but you know it's quite expensive and I don't really have the money at the moment to buy it back. Also, Tile, you get back on your fucking tiles, you naughty boy. Um... God, let's unlock these. Uh, yeah, let's cook up these salmon and uh, then we'll get back in. We're on 9kc at the big water prison. It's not the snow, uh, snow prison anymore. It's the water prison. Hey, there is another combat task of Temperous Champion. Doo -doo -doo! Which means that we've done 10kc. Um, yeah, decent. Hey, hey, we got another casket. Anything? Oh, that's massive. That is massive. Now, is a rune chain body better than an adamant plate body? There is one way to find out. D bank note. It is indeed. Let's get it on. Let's drop the the adamant plate body. Uh, actually, we could sell it, couldn't we? I'm trying to think where a general store is that we <laughs> we can get to quite easily. Uh, is there one in Alcarid? There is. All right, let's go to Alcarid. Sell it at the general store, and then we'll come back. Also, look at all these fish. Whew, my inventory must stink. Yeah, I'm pretty much just soloing Temporos now. Um, I've kind of got it down. You do one invent, uh, two inventories of cooked every single time um, to take down his energy, whatever it is. You know, then you can go and attack Temporos. Um, yeah, two inventories of cooked fish, twice. So four inventories of cooked fish. Quick maths, I know. And uh, jobs are good. Em. It's really easy. Uh, but anyway, let's turn off rum. Let's go into the general store. And let's sell this adamant plate body. I'm not sure how much they're going to give us, but let's trade. Um, ba -ba -ba. Value. Ah, oh, six and a half K. Yeah, probably good that we didn't drop that. Anyway, um, XP wise, we're getting like 30K fish and XP an hour, which isn't too bad. Getting a nice amount of um, uh, construction XP as well. And we're getting about half the rates of uh, cooking as we are fishing, which uh, is expected. Not, not um, angry at that. Uh, but we're getting very, very close to 70 fishing, which we love to see. And loot-wise, um, we've had, we've done 74 fishes in the little reward pool. Here's how the loot's looking. I've been cooking up the um, bass and the salmon uh, and not keeping them in my inventory. I just cook them as I get them. Uh, and then planks-wise, we've got a few, which uh, is getting us going for construction. I'm not keeping the nails, not keeping the feathers, not keeping the bait. Not really bothered about them. the seaweed as well. I'm not keeping that. It's just cluttering up the inventory and it's shit that we can get really easily. So uh, not too stressed about it. Probably should say as well, we're on 18kc and we're getting like four commit, uh, four permits um, every single game, which uh, I don't think is a bad return, to be honest. Like you can extend out the game so you get more points, but I can't be arsed. I'd rather do more kc and uh, keep the party rocking. You know what I mean? Oh, we've got another casket. Anything? An easy clue. Camelot. <sighs> No, we haven't got that for now, but four diamond bracelets. We might be able to get some money for that. Let's go and have a look-see. Okay, right, value. Okay, one and a half K each. We'll do that. Very nice indeed. Now, we can have a small net as well for a couple of quid. Decent. Still soloing in it as well. Um, all the world seems to be really quiet with Temporos, which is weird because it's... I know the XP rates aren't like Winter Todd, but resource-wise for an, like an early game iron... Really good. Um, yeah, 
apologies if I sound a bit tired as well. I've, I've, um, I'm recording this on Sunday. This is when the Dead Smithy episodes got. I just tested positive for the old Rona. So, um, yeah, feeling a little bit, a little bit not lit, but you know, we're still gaming away, which, uh, Talthy, he's just, he's mo- still moving and grooving and I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, need a bit of oil on the, on the gears, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, 20kc and five permits from that last game. Can we get anything good? Some bass, planks, like to see those, some salmon and lobsters. Not amazing, but not the worst. We can cook these up and uh, get some more XP, get some more tiles on the board. I'll tell you what, Talfi, I do fancy a little break from the fishing prism. Should we go and do something else? Tell you what, there's nothing more relaxing than just, you know, spraying, just spraying down a good old dirty boy. A good old dirty boy, like, we just go, hey, hey, and hey. It's a cowboy's hat, all right? I think you thought it was going to be a cock. It's not. It's a cowboy's hat. Look at that. That's look at your smile. Bosh. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Get those windows nice and clean. Come on. Nice and clean. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Look. Look how clean this bit already is. A little cowboy's gone. It's fine. It's fine. Auto spray. Oh man, even more efficient. I might be wasting XP on RuneScape, but I'm gaming away on Power Washing Simulator. Oh, you love to see it. Before we go back, I think this might be meta. Look at that, we can spray sideways. Look, we can even spin it while we're spraying. Oh, 360 boy. <laughs> Look at these strokes. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, this is gaming. This really is gaming. This is the definition of what gaming should and is and will ever be. I think we're nearly done with the roof as well. I think we're nearly done with the old roof. That is a pretty clean roof, if you ask me. Decent. Right, it looks like we're nearly done. Oh, if we tap, tap the tab, tab, it tells us where all the grime is. We get right down. There we go. There is job complete. That is a very, very shiny looking van, my friends. Probably should get back to temper or snow sh now, shouldn't we? Look at that. Before and after. Look at me go. All right. It'd be rude not to clean someone's garden, right? Right? Especially, you know, it's nice and warm out. Let's get out in the sun. Let's clean some gardens, boy. Woohoo! Oh, man. I just played Power Wash Simulator for seven and a half hours. <laughs> right. We really need to get back to Temporos. Right. If we fling a few fish in here, this is going to be 70 fish in coming in. Very nice indeed. Look at that nice round number. Oh, let's tie down. We can now do Leaping Sturgeons, which... Uh, I'm considering getting barb fishing unlocked pretty soon um, because it's going to be able to train three skills at once. Um, yeah, agility and strength. You know, agility is a pain in the ass to train anyway. And if we can get that tied in with a little bit of fishing, why the hell not? Right, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we get some more rune stuff? Seven ruby rings. Wow. Wow. It's like that Christmas song, isn't it? Uh, but the next cast gets me a fucking partridge in a pear tree. Right, so now we've actually got some decent, you know, armor and weaponry and that. I think it's time that we actually start doing things like Slayer and um, actually leveling up our uh, our combat stats. Now, one thing that we can do to get the ball rolling is the um, museum quiz, which is in here. 
we've got 115 tiles, and I'm assuming, assuming that's going to be enough because you've got to do quite a lot of running around, and the uh, the what you call it, the rooms in this uh, uh, place are quite fucking big. Um, so let's see, oh, where are we? Tile man mode, activate auto tiles, auto tile repair, auto tile replace. Um, let's go for a little walk, see, I guess, and see if we can at least get in the front door. Um, so we need to get downstairs. I can't remember the dude's name. He's down here, but he's literally just as you come in. There he is. Orlando Smith, that's the one. Good night, mate. Um... Spam for all of this, and uh, sure thing, let's get the quiz done. So, there's four rooms. Let's see if we can get the first room done. Okay, one more repl um, answer, and there we go. There is the first room done. Uh, we've still got 61 tiles. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling hopeful. Right, this room only has two things in. And we've only got 39 tiles left. My hope is slightly dwindling. <laughs> okay, that's room three done. We've only got eight tiles left. Um, I don't even think that's going to get us to the fucking front door of the, <laughs> the next bit, let alone get down there and answer the questions. Um, it's fine. We've got a load of fish that we can cook up, so I think we'll do that. Let's, uh, let's might as well spend the eight that we have. Literally just here. So... Uh, let's go to set target, 20. Let's say we need about 50 tiles for this one. <sighs> yeah, we had nowhere near enough. <laughs> All right, what my plan is, also, we're walking past the well, well, well. Look at everyone's names there. All of our channel members, if you want to get your name on the well, you know, hit the join button down below and you can get all the information. Um... What I'm going to do is unnote on uh, this dude here. He walks around. I'm going to have to wait for him to uh, tick onto the tile here so I can use him. Uh, and then I'm going to go and cook. Oh, shit. Mm. All right, we're going to have to use Wayne for a little bit, get some levels um, or get some XP so we can get to the cooking range here. Um, didn't think about that. <laughs> We, I thought we had unlocked the cooker here. Ah, well, it would just take us a little bit longer, but it's fine. Okay, Wayne the Willow was very kind to us and gave us a load of tiles after we burnt his body, uh, a.k.a. his logs. Um, so, yeah, we've now got the cook range unlocked, and I also did a tile by... Is his name the Phileas or the Phillip, whatever his name is? Uh, I did another tile next to him just so it makes it a little bit less of a ball ache to uh, chain shit with him into real stuff. Uh, it's going to use some GP, but, I mean, that's fine. You know, we need to get our cooking up anyway. Uh, it's saying 203 of these, and we'll get level 70 cooking, and we've got 349, so uh, fish is back on the menu, boys. I hope you're hungry. Right, where well, we've been doing Tempros, we've got ourselves up to 46 uh, construction, and with the oak planks that we got from it, it means that we can now build an armor case, which is pretty lit. We can build number th number one, oak armor. And in here, we can store all this stuff. So uh, if we eventually get the angler's outfit, we can store that. Um, what else can we put in here that's of use? Um, lumberjack costume. If I can be asked to do a fight torso anytime soon as well. Um, prospector outfit. That's probably a good one to go for. The Shazian armors. Yeah, some really good stuff in here. Also, uh, the void set, which uh, I probably should get a wiggle on, on getting. Uh, can we build a cape rack yet? Let's have a look. No, that's 54. What about a toy box? No, that's 50. What about a treasure chest? No, that's 48. Anyway, I'm going to use up these planks on something in here and uh, then get back to cooking some fish. Right, this inventory here should be 70 cooking. Two left, one to go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There is 70 cooking, and it means we can now make Admiral Pies. Wow! Ain't that amazing? Video gaming. Right, we need to get double the tiles, though. So, um, more fish to cook. All right, these are the last four tuners. I'm not going to cook up any of the lobsters or the uh, swordfish. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go back to Varrock, see how far we can get on the museum. 
with 38 tiles. I think we'll need a few more, but there's a yew tree just outside that we can just chop um, and get some tiles from that. So we're going to head back using the Chronicle and uh, let's go see how far we can get. Okay, this is the left side done. Uh, we've got two more plaques that we need to do um, with 16 tiles. So can we do it? find out probably in the next <laughs> next clip okay we're literally going to be like four tiles short one two three four, literally four tiles <sighs> right to the yew tree we go okay here we go we've got the four tiles go on tile the you go mate start uh, study the plaque as garnia below room temperature obviously oh is it fucking cancelled it reptiles two there we go, happy days. That means that we've finished, and uh, we should be able to go and get level 9 Slayer and Hunter. Ooh, let's just go up here. Do, do, do. Run over to old. What's his name? Orlando. Hello, Orlando. And there we go. There is two tiles from that as well, with 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter. Very nice indeed, it means we can actually start doing Hunter and uh, can start doing a bit of Slayer as well now, which is pretty nice. And that is going to do it for this week's episode. So we unlocked Temporos, which is going to be a massive benefit as it's an easy way for us to get planks and food and also um, things we can sell like jewellery and also rune armour. We got ourselves to 30 agility, or 31 actually, uh, and then 70 fishing and 70 cooking, which is nice. Some nice round numbers there. Um, and we also got the museum quiz done, which means that we can now start doing Slayer and also low-level Hunter, which is pretty good. You know, we've made some decent progress this episode. Uh, we haven't done any quests, but um, I've been storing up a few uh, tiles as well, just doing some AFK wood cutting. Um, so we can uh, start moving towards doing another one. Ooh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You have to find out next time. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do drop a like. Uh, comment down below. Um, uh, what should we go with? <sighs> Good luck slaying. Put that put that in the comment section down below if you got that this far. Because next episode, our primary objective is going to be slayer. Um, yeah. Can't wait to get our uh, teeth stuck in to some proper Slayer um, because Slayer is one of my favourite skills uh, to do. I know low-level Slayer is a bit shit uh, because the tasks are a bit awful, but um, I think we can uh, we can jump jump the gun on on some of the low-level stuff uh, by doing some some uh, pre-quests and some other bits and pieces. But anyway, a shout out to all of our channel members of Will, Steve, Super Beef Made, AJ, Helena. Cushy, Thamescape, Rayleigh, Chair, Raw, Paul, Fruit Salad, Tavani, and Elmo. Thank you for the continued support through the membership program. If you want to get involved with that and get a shout out at the end of the video, there's a join button down below where you can join for as little as 99p or cent or whatever your currency is a month. But anyway, I've now rambled for a couple of minutes. I hope you guys are staying safe. I've still got the Rona, so I feel a little bit shit. And also let me know what you think about just sprinkling in a little bit of power wash sim. Did you like that? Did you not? Uh, let me know. Um, I thought it'd be funny. But anyway, stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.